visualizing the light of spring. Recently, it's popular for photo studios to make sets using dry flowers. For this video, I will show you how to take beautiful photos of your subject with a set made of dry flowers. The flash we will use is Godox AD200 without accessories. We'll try with two different light directions. Please take a look at the differences. When you are using a set made with dry flowers, it's nice to have a soft, gentle light. First, we'll bounce the flash from the left wall. Bouncing the light from the wall will make it a bit softer. Let's take some photos. The direction of the light will come diagonally from the right. The light is soft, but the impression is flat. The light is coming from the front light, so the whole thing is too realistic and uninteresting. The dry flower especially do not appear beautiful. So, I'd like to make the dry flowers a bit more beautiful and magical. This time, we'll try bouncing the flash from the far right wall. And we'll place the flash in high position. Let's take some photos. Now, the image is sympathetically with soft light falling on the entire picture. It is a magical image like the light of a spring sun. When you are lighting a photo, try to keep in mind how to recreate a beautiful outdoor scene. For this next photo, why I thought of the lighting? I tried to image a same backlit scene under a sakura, which is cherry blossom tree, with sunlight falling on the entire picture. When taking photos in a set made with dry flowers, if you use direct light from the front, the picture will turn out too realistic. But if you use same backlighting, you can create a more magical photo. If you use same backlit soft light and pink dry flowers, it will look just like cherry blossoms. Since it is same backlit, if you add a flare, the photo will become even more magical. Please give it a try.